think it's a very important idea for young people to get involved because it kind of it establishes a kind of a social conscience. I applied to the Irish Innocence Project because I thought it would give me a really good clinical experience and it would help me to look into the justice system and to essentially find out how much injustice is actually in the system. When I first entered the project I had a romantic idea of the justice system and now I kind of see the darker side of it that it does make mistakes that innocent people end up in jail and it's really kind of up to us to, to solve those problems. I think that it's, it's um, an excellent way of keeping the justice system in check um, and it ensures that people who um, are extremely vulnerable uh, aren't abused by a, by a system that's ultimately meant to protect them. I suppose there's always the kind of assumption that if somebody has been convicted, well then they must be guilty. The more you see it, the more how easy it is for somebody to be wrongfully convicted and how, you know, it's through human and systemic errors. You know, it's not even necessarily deliberate and that's why it's so important to have somebody who's always just willing to give a case a second look. This work is very complicated. It requires fact management. It requires requires imagination. Imagination is a prerequisite as well as technical legal skills. The other thing is empathy. You're dealing with people and you can get the brightest first class honours lawyer in the world and they have no empathy skills with people, no ability to deal with people and you're often dealing with people who are deeply troubled, uh, deeply disturbed by the processes, the unjust processes they've undergone and need to be carefully um, dealt with. The thing that caught me most off guard was when I met a man from one of my cases. Otherwise, it's, the work is very abstract and when you actually meet the person face to face, you realise how much they're counting on you and it just makes you a lot more motivated to help them. Is it a big responsibility, would you say? Yeah, it's definitely a big responsibility. When you meet someone who has applied or when you do a prison visit, um, it had much different effect to me than I thought it would have had. Like, I, I couldn't stop thinking about it for days. It really drives me to want to do the work that the project does. You find yourself becoming quite attached to them once you learn their backstories and learn how their trial went and the troubles they've had in their life and after they've been convicted. And like even people who don't get, get convicted for a crime and don't necessarily go away for a very long time, it still has a pr pr profound effect on the rest of their life and their uh, mental health, which um, I wouldn't have been aware of before I joined the project. This is someone's life that's on the line here. Um, so I just think it makes you a lot more cautious, a lot more moral, and um, I think it makes you a lot more passionate about what you're doing. We are really excited about the Wrongful Conviction Conference and Film Festival. It's the first time that we'll be inviting delegates from you know, law, journalism, the innocence world, along with exonerees and students. We have a great lineup. Um, we have Gareth Pierce, who was the defense lawyer for the Guildford Four coming to give the keynote, and uh, Barry Sheck and Peter Neufeld, who were the co-founders of the first Innocence Project in New York in 1992. The following day is the first ever Wrongful Conviction Film Festival. It really shows in a very, very real way how important the media can be in addressing wrongful convictions, especially as a human rights issue. And the last uh, event of the day will be uh, a special screening of In the Name of the Father with Jim Sheridan and Jerry Conlon's family. We'll be giving the Jerry Conlon Memorial Law and Journalism Justice Student Scholarship Award at that event. One is to just increase public awareness about this issue. Secondly, we're hoping to you know, promote this idea that there really is a role for both law and the media in addressing this issue. And finally, um, we hope to inspire a whole new generation of people to get involved in this work. Everybody can have a stake in this and can make a difference. And it's as simple as sending in a euro. Um, so we hope that people will feel inspired to get involved uh, and support Be The Key, Set an Innocent Free.